I went to an estate sale last week that was on my way to the shop. It was a nice surprise and it was a beautiful day. Look at these cute deer. They are a little rough, so I'm gonna pass. I don't really have a need for them, but there's some cute outdoor decor here. This bear I could probably paint up, but I decided to leave him. They had some furniture that was not bad. This would have been 20 bucks and 20% off and the dresser was 40 and 20% off, but I already have a set like this, so I'm gonna pass. They had lots of really pretty copper too, but because I don't have a kitchen area in my shop, I'm just looking and taking it all in. These gorgeous Fiesta Wear bowls were 15 bucks, but I saw a little chip in one. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. What do you guys think? I didn't get a good look at the bottom of these to see what maker these were, but they look like they'd be collectible. You can tell I don't do dishes. I really have no idea. This thing's called a treat tree. It looks like something I would like to have filled and help empty. What do you guys think? Anybody ever have one? So many cute dishes. This was a pretty swanky table, this cocktail table and these mid-century plates or bowls. I thought about picking these up too, but I gave them a look and then went to the bedroom and these dolls were creepy as heck. And there was a creepy guy who came in behind me too. So I hightailed it out of there. This Coke cookie jar was pretty cool. I'm imagining that's collectible, but not something I am into. So we're gonna leave that. And then look at this huge dictionary. It reminds me when I was in high school and they used to have a podium where they would keep the dictionary open for you to look up words. My, how things have changed. These little golfer guys are cute. And then I'm not sure what this thing is. Is it some sort of like a slide projector? Does anybody know? There's a dresser in here. This mid-century dresser was really well made, um, but, and it was only 10 bucks because there was carpeting on the bottom. It looked like the veneer was kind of shot. So I thought about going back, but I didn't. This was 80 bucks and I was gonna go back the next day, but I got busy at work and forgot. These little guys I was gonna pick up, they were five bucks each, but I had a coughing attack and had to leave. <laughs> I did get all of these Santas and a Nutcracker. This basement was like a throwback to the 70s. Here's a look at the Santas I did pick up. These were each like six bucks and in very good condition. So they will get put out in my Santa display for our open house coming up on November 9th. So make sure that you stop in or check them out on the website, rusticrehabs.com. This little Irish nutcracker was actually eight bucks, but I love it anyway. Thanks for coming with me. I'll see you soon. I'll drop a link to the event in the description.